What is up, people? This is your boy Jay. I am back with a video here with the 95 Mark 8. And I finally got my blower motor working. I supposed to did a video on this, but as you can see, I got it fused right here. This is the fuse that I can redid to the blower motor. See, I took this fuse box out. Uh, let's get some light in here so you can see this. Now, what I did was I cut this circuit here, the wire that was in that circuit, cut it and ran this thick wire here and put a 40 amp fuse right in here to the Mark 8. So now the blower motor is working now. I got my heat and AC and all that working now. And I just kind of move it our bike down to the side here, a little bit out of the way. But yeah, this circuit was burned out when I got this car. So I ended up fixing my blower motor myself. I had to take this whole fuse box apart, get the wire and cut it back in on the back end, put some butt connectors in there, and uh, wire this uh, large uh, wiring piece here that had a fuse connection to it right there wired it in and now we got our blower motor so this doesn't work anymore so we're not worried about this because there is nothing in here because when I bought so when I bought the car this was cut oh I mean this was burned so what I did like I said I took the fuse here I took this box out and everything here cut the wires that was connected to this circuit here and just rewired them to this right here so now we got uh, our blower motor heat and everything works. Heat AC works. And you can hear and you can see that the blower motor act is actually working now. There's power going to the blower motor now. So yeah, man, I don't know what was going on with that ordeal. Why this thing wasn't um, working like it was supposed to. But um, I got it all um, working like it's supposed to now, y'all. Cut these headlights off but yeah I got it all back like I got the blow motor working finally yeah and we got a nice heat and everything in here now the defrost everything worked like it's supposed to so there you have it guys but yeah I wanted to go ahead and uh, show you guys what I did but I wish I would have done the video on this to show you guys exactly what I did so you can see how I pretty much cut this wire here I of course, I took both the batteries out because the car had two batteries. Took batteries out, make sure the battery there was no power going to this box here, and cut the wires that was on the back of this here, and just ran them straight to this circuit right here, right here, and just connected. Since this already had like a fuse um, already to it, uh, we just went on ahead and connected this in here, and now our blower motor is working. We can get heat and air conditioning now, so. That's what I wanted to show you guys. My hands are ashy, guys. My hands are really ashy. Let's push this back in there like that. And there you have it, guys. This circuit is no longer working because it was burnt out. But, you know, this is your boy Jay. I find a way to fix things, you know. So that's what I did. I rewired this whole blower motor circuit to that wiring right there and pull it, pull it out here. So... I can all I can, I'm able to have access to it to change the fuse in case and then I put a 40 amp fuse in here there was a 30 amp fuse in here but I changed it out and put a 40 amp fuse in here instead so now that we know that this is working the heat the AC works like it's supposed to so there you have it guys I got it fixed finally finally got the blower motor fixing this thing now and I didn't have to take it to the shop and have them charge me arm and leg to do what I just did or whatever or, Try to put a whole new fuse box and everything in this car so right now the car is running because i turned the switch on so we can you know let it run for a bit so his car has a sound system now but i haven't i get i gotta get another box because the box i got with the speakers and everything the box is too big to fit in this trunk so i am going to um get another box or maybe a smaller coupon box put it in here and get this thing run, rolling. Get this thing thumping like it should, man. But anyway, guys, this is your boy Jay. Just bringing a video to you guys, an update to for the 95 Mark 8. I wanted to show you guys exactly what I did. I wish I would have done the step-by-step -step video to show you guys how I had to take all this stuff out right here. Uh, I had to take all this, drop all this off, 
get this so I can have access to here, you know, and be able to um, get in backhand here, turn this thing, cut these wires in here, and run them to that little um, setup I got right there. So, and then instead of a 30 amp fuse that usually run this thing, I have a 40, 40 amp fuse in here. So, there you have it, guys. This is your boy Jay signing off, saying peace, be safe, be blessed. I'll catch you guys later. I'm out.